With more than half of South Africa's youth unemployed, a startup's been developed to improve access to job listings for low and medium skilled people in the jobs market. This is The Moneymakers. I'm Bruce Whitfield. Tonight, I talk to the brains behind Giraffe. Yes, that's what it's called. And his name is Anish Shivdasani. He's with me in The Moneymakers studio. What is Giraffe? So Bruce, Giraffe is basically a mobile app that helps businesses find staff faster and cheaper than any other way and connects medium-skilled job seekers to opportunities easier than any other way. And by medium-skilled, we're talking about people who typically earn between, say, 3,000 and 18,000 rands. Typically work in both blue-collar and white-collar. So blue-collar, we're talking about waiters, waitresses, factory workers, drivers, cashiers, that kind of thing. And from a white-collar perspective, we're looking at call center agents, junior admin staff, junior accounts, bookkeeping type staff, this kind of thing, right? Tr traditionally, the, the job hunt goes like this. Hey, Johnny, you work for ABC company. Have they got a gap? Yes, they have. I know the person in HR. Come along. We go and get you a job together. You do the next uh, the, the thing for your mate. Or you go through a recruitment process. You go to a recruitment agency. You might go to Ad Corp or one of those guys. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. you say, put your name on a list. They take a cut of your wage. Uh, and off you go into, in, into the great world of careers. How does it work feasibly in the 21st century at a push of a button or a push of a, a screen, a touch of a, an okay. app on a screen. So the scenarios you outlined below indicate the, or, or highlight the inefficiencies yeah. in the market. So for the job seeker, informal, my mate's got a job there, whatever, you know, it's very inefficient, right? Uh, if you use recruitment agencies and labor brokers, it can be very costly for an employer. So Giraffe intends to address the inefficiencies on both sides of the equation. So for a job seeker, we've made a very simple mobile app works on any cell phone that has a browser. It doesn't have to be a smartphone. It can be an old Nokia or an old Blackberry. It works on that thing like a dream. What happens is a job seeker can make a CV on their cell phone for free, anytime, anywhere, right? The way they do it is they simply go to a, a web address that we give them, and we ask them a number of very structured questions about their work experience, about their education qualifications, their job preferences, any additional skills they have, um, where they live, this kind of thing. It takes no more than 10 minutes to complete. And like I said, it's completely free. And especially for medium-skilled job seekers who don't necessarily have internet or PCs at home, it's very simple for them to, to, to access. They don't have to spend any money to do it. Uh, assuming I'm an employer yeah. and I'm looking for somebody with a driver's license, a matric, yeah. um, uh, and I'm prepared to pay 5,000 rand yeah. a month to do uh, a job of work. Yeah. I, I would then put those requirements into the same program and does it then give me a list of names? Yeah, so for the job seeker, we have the CV app and then for the employer, we have a website, www.giraffe.co.za. And employers can simply go to that website and there's a very simple staff request form where they do exactly as you said. They say, I'm looking for a driver. They need to have at least three years working as a driver. They need to have this type of driving license. I'm going to pay them 6,000 rounds a month. The job is in Santon, right? And I want to interview them at this time on this day at this location. It takes no more than two minutes to complete. It's very simple. Then they click submit. And now this is where the magic happens. We've built an algorithm that takes the requirements that you've specified and automatically queries the database of job seekers and identifies all the job seekers that have exactly this, the, the criteria that you've identified. So it will look, with people, look for people who have driving experience, who have that particular type of driving license, and critically also measures the distance between the, uh, the job seeker's home address and the employer's work location and finds people who live within 10 kilometers of that location. The idea being you spend less time and money on transport getting to work, so your likelihood of sticking with that job but, is but greater. You, but that algorithm is working on information submitted. Yes, there's, that's there's, no, there's no verification. It doesn't say Johnny has uh, a criminal record as long as my arm. That's um, right. So there's a couple of, there are a couple of verifications that we do do. So in order to join Giraffe right now, you have to have a South African ID. And a real one. Yes, okay. and, uh, and our database is linked with the Department of Home Affairs database. So what happens is, for every candidate we invite for interview, we'll query their ID number and name on the South African Home Affairs database and at least establish that they are who they say they are. So that's one check that we do. Then there are other checks that we do. So for instance, we do not let you submit a work experience unless you give us the name and contact details of an employer. That's another check that do we do. You, do you do the check? Or no, do we you don't. You just have the fact that there's a number and a, and a, and a name? Oh, we do random checks from time okay. to time, not every time. But the point is that it's another barrier to entry. If, you, if you're lying about a position, you're going to have to lie about an employer and a contact number. So we make it the, difficult. The odds of being bust are, are grow. Yes. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there are ways of, of, of tweaking the system. But we've tried to add a number of barriers, like I've said, that really you know, preclude the propensity to lie. Mm. And I think, importantly, when you're applying for a job on a job portal, 
you can see the listing, you know what job you're applying to, so you know what to lie about. Whereas in Giraffe, when you create your CV, you don't know what jobs you're applying for, so you have no idea what to lie about. So you're likely to put you know, more true information. I mean, we've had incidents in South Africa, I think it was Transnet five or six years ago, yeah. there was a stampede for 20 jobs. Yeah. Transnet advertised 20 jobs and something like 5,000 or 10,000 people arrived. Doesn't and people were killed me. in the stampede. Yeah, yeah, um, exactly. How do you avoid that okay. in this environment? So the thing is, when you, as an employer, post an ad on Giraffe, that ad is not being vis viewed by multiple people, right? It's, it's basically given to our algorithm, and algorithm then determines who to SMS the details about. So and it's communicated by SMS. Typically, how many people might get that SMS? 100, 200? For every job that you advertise, we'll send it to about 20 people only 20 people. About half of those people will indicate, yes, I'm interested in the interview, and between five and seven will actually pitch for the interview. So we've done the numbers, we've worked it backwards, so we know that depending on the number of vacancies you have, we know exactly how many people to contact about that interview. So by the time you get to the interview process, actually a lot of weeding out has happened already. Yeah. If you're not going to be bothered to pitch the interview, well, you're Top. not the sort of person we're looking yeah. for. The first step is to turn up. Um, exactly. you're, ahead, you're ahead. And this is another reason why we're better than job portals. So if you put an ad on you know, any job portal, you're, you're inbox is going to be flooded with mostly junk and you're going to have to spend the time sifting through mm. the relevant versus the non-relevant people. With Giraffe you won't have that problem. You give us your information, you give us your criteria and then 48 hours later you've got relevant candidates that fit your exact criteria walking through the door for interview. So it's a very streamlined, very efficient process that basically costs you no more than two minutes of your time. Okay, and what does it really cost? Because you've got to make some money out of this. Yeah. Of course, it's free for me to put my CV up on, yeah. on the site, but at some point, you have to make money from somewhere. Absolutely. So it's completely free for job seekers to register on Giraffe, but from the employer perspective, we do charge a placement fee. And the placement fee varies from between 140 to about 400 rands per placement, but it's significantly cheaper than any other solution out there. We uh, aim to how, be how do you just uh, justify 140 versus 400 okay. or 400 versus 140? So for our larger customers, they typically take subscription packages because um, they tend to hire larger volumes, and we offer we, we offer a volume-based discount. So that's okay. where the kind of 100 rand price point. But if I was looking for in that example that you said, a, a driver, okay. for example, I might have to pay 400 rand for that once-off. Absolutely. Um, so if you're looking for a driver, we'll charge we'll, we'll charge you about 10 percent of the monthly salary between. 10 and 30 percent of the monthly salary of, of that driver but m a recruitment agent will charge you up to 25 percent of the annual salary so in that instance we're about 15 times cheaper mm. than a recruitment agency so we aim to be cheaper and faster well more than 10 times cheaper and more than 10 times faster than any other recruitment service out there okay now uh, there are people looking at this going why on earth do you call yourself a giraffe i mean you're a tall man <laughs> <laughs> but nothing uh, to do with that um Look, I think when you're a tech startup, there's hundreds of tech startups out there, you've got to pick a name that people are going to remember, right? You've got to pick something a bit different. Giraffe recruitment. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, I, but uh, I mean, Apple, what does Apple have to do with computers? What, what does BlackBerry have to do with mobile devices? I mean, um, I think people typically choose very boring names, and I think that's one reason why they don't really stand out. Um, so we wanted to pick something really different, something fresh, something memorable, and I think Giraffe fits the bill. I mean, what do you think of the name? Do you like it? No, I like <laughs> the name. I, li I like the name a lot. But, um, but there are other reasons too. And the other? Um, so we're an African startup. We wanted to pick... Uh, but you, uh, are, are you an African? No, I'm not originally. I'm originally from the UK. But I've yeah. been living in South Africa for a while. I mean, I would regard myself as an honorary African. Let's put it that way. Um, Giraffe is an African animal. It's a quintessential African icon. So we think that's a pretty good metaphor. But I think there's a deeper meaning why the, we've chosen the, the that. Global, global publishers at one stage would be criticized for covers of books because every book in Africa had a sunset with a giraffe right. silhouetted in it. Is it? Um, yeah, there was, there was, there was a, it was a thing about okay, 18 fine, months ago. But it, it, but it is. It, it is that association yeah. is strong. But I think the other reason, probably a more deeper metaphorical reason, is that you know, a giraffe has a long neck and it can search for things for you, it can search for a job if you're looking for a job, it can search for stuff if you're looking for stuff. And finally, the giraffe is an amiable creature, it projects an image of warmth or friendliness, and we want our brand to project an image of warmth and friendliness and trust. How many so people have you placed so far? We've placed several hundred people in the last 10 months. So we launched the app in February last year, and we've got nearly 80,000 job seekers that's registered in Joburg alone, or Gauteng alone. And we've invited about 9,000 of them for interview, and we've placed several hundred of them with, with in permanent positions. So it's, it's not a huge hit rate. I mean, you've got a hit rate of, what, 8 or 9%? Look, it's a good, it's a good point you're raising. Um, the thing about developing a marketplace like this, effectively, we need job seekers and we need jobs. But and, and, and there's a big shortage on that side. There's a, a chicken and egg situation. Yeah. Right, there is a, but there's a chicken and egg situation, because you can't get employers to use the service unless you have enough job seekers, and you can't, have, can't get enough job seekers unless you have jobs. So we, for the first six months of last year, over-indexed 
on building our, on our base of, of job seekers. Mm, sorry, over-indexed means? As in focused very heavily okay. on building our, because many large customers we went to speak to, to use our service said, look, come back to us when you've got 10,000, 15,000 people on your base. So we focused on building our job seeker base. And I think the priority going forward for this year is to really grow our portfolio of, of, of customers. So it's a balancing act. It's mm. quite delicate. But we decided to focus on the job seeker first and then the employer. How many people who work for you come out of that database? How many people who work for our company? Yes. We only have three people in our company. Ah, you see. We're a very lean organization. But we do plan to set up a small call center, and we're going to hire exclusively using our own database for that. Mm. No, it would have to be. You've got to, you've got to, you, you've got to eat your own. You've got to eat, 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 eat the food you prepare. Actually, I mean, we did in the beginning market the product using promoters that we'd sent to taxi ranks handing out flyers. And we hired them exclusively using Giraffe. So we did use them previously, but right now, obviously, it's just... Uh, I, I, can't, I can't wait to see how it works out. I mean, there are 80,000 people keen to work. Mm -hmm. Just need 80,000 jobs on the other side. That's the hard part, That's yeah. It most certainly is. And Ish Shiv Dasani is the chief executive of Giraffe. It's a tall order to get a job in South Africa. Maybe that's why he called it Giraffe. But thank you for watching. Be more moneymakers tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye for now.